I just road cruised this massive male box turtle. This has to be one of the biggest box turtles I've ever seen and it literally was just right over there. Right there. And here he is. What a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous turtle. We're gonna let him go on that side of the road and then we're gonna keep on moving. Okay everyone, we got our first snake of the night and it is a cottonmouth. Um, haven't seen that many cottonmouths this year in the state of Georgia, but it's always such a good feeling to come across them. What a beautiful snake. Okay everyone, check this out. Looks like we got what appears to be a striped mud turtle. Haven't seen one of these guys yet in Okie Finoki. Or it could be an Easter mud turtle. I'm really bad at distinguishing the two. But here he is, just sitting on the side of the road. Make sure he gets figure out what direction he wants to go in and we'll help him off.
Okay everyone, there's a car coming. So I'm picking up again. There he is. Or actually, no, I think it's a he because it has a slightly concave plaster on. But just found this turtle heading in this direction. There is a car barreling down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put him or her right off the side here. And she can figure out what she wants to do. And hopefully next time she crosses there will be no other cars on the road. Alright everyone, check this out. This is my second wild corn snake ever. And this is bigger than the first one that we found. This is the first time I've seen a corn snake in Okie Finoki. This one's maybe like a two to three footer, maybe closer to three feet long. I'm gonna grab some more footage and some photos and then we're gonna help this guy get off the road. But second snake of the night and it's a corn snake. What a stunner. All right, everyone, really bad news. This cottonmouth just got nicked on the road. You can see it's bleeding out from the mouth. Oh, this is not good at all. This snake is most likely gonna die. And there's really no traffic on the roads. This is a different cottonmouth from when we saw earlier, but again, road mortality, it doesn't matter if it's a busy highway, a deserted road in the woods, impacts wildlife. And this poor cottonmouth is on its way out unfortunately really sad second third snake of the night and our second cottonmouth of the night hopefully the one that we saw earlier didn't get hit but really sad to see this guy literally just got nicked on the road Well, good news, our cottonmouth friend, he's definitely has some head trauma, but he's still moving. I'm making sure this guy gets off the road. I don't know, he's looking pretty good. Like, you can see he's definitely, we don't want to get too close to him, but he's definitely bleeding from the head, but we're making, I just want to make sure this guy gets off the road. It's a fairly young cottonmouth. Best thing to do is for him to just go off and hopefully he can make a recovery, but Looks like he just got nicked in the face, but he's, these guys are just so resilient and so tough, but almost there, right in the grass. Come on, you can do it. There you go. It's all good. Come on, I'll give you a little boost. Oop, didn't. That was the opposite effect. I'm using my tripod, so I'm not getting close to this guy, but you can see rattling his tail. He's off the road now, and hopefully this is the direction that he will continue to head in, and we'll just keep on moving, see if we can save any more snakes. All right, everyone, we got snake number three. Oh boy, we got a big cottonmouth, everyone. This is an adult, probably at least a three-footer. Why the head's not really focusing there, but... Big old cottonmouth, third cottonmouth of the night. I've only made, I haven't even made one complete pass yet, and we've already found four snakes. Um, so snake-wise, it's actually been better on this particular road than the last time I was on, driving it in Okie Finoki. Good-sized adult cottonmouth safely made its way off the road. Four sna fourth snake of the night.
All right, everyone. We got our fourth cotton mouth of the night. This is our. This is a DOR. Um, we are out of Okefenokee right now, and we are heading back. It is a bummer. Obviously, seen DOR suck. Um, but here's a cotton mouth. Probably got nicked. I don't know. Not too too long ago, but it's dead, unfortunately. Well, this is something you don't see. Some large animal crossed the road after I passed by here earlier, and there looked to be dung beetles who were eating the scat. Wow, that's, again, not herps, but something you don't see every day. Dung beetles on the road eating poop. All right, everyone, we got our fourth cottonmouth of the night. This guy was trying to cross the highway here. I slammed on my brakes and pulled off the side of the road. Another adult cottonmouth, he seems, or she has seemed to turn, has turned back around and is heading into the wetland. Um, but yeah, really cool. I wasn't expecting to see another snake. And here we go, another cottonmouth. All right, everyone, this is our sixth cottonmouth of the night, and this, unfortunately, is the second DOR. Um, not too long after, we just found that live one. Again, DORs just suck. Um, three of the six cottonmouths have been either dead or injured. Um, this one you can see here... Oh, well, that's good to focus. Got hit on the, the, um, the left lateral side there and probably just got its vertebrae completely crushed and yeah very unfortunate just gonna get this carcass off the road probably take a couple photos and then just keep on driving all right everyone there is a southern toad I believe this is a southern toad they're just chilling in a parking lot here at a gas station so we're about to head back home and i just stopped and there is a toad just in the gas station parking lot